Hi everyone, let's see how switch statements work in Java. We will have a brief introduction to the switch statement, then we will see a code example in practice, and finally we will see what happens when we don't add a break statement at the end of each case. You will see what I mean in just a moment. So what is a switch statement? This type of statement changes the flow of execution based on the value of a variable. This is the general syntax for a switch statement in Java. First, we have the switch keyword, and then followed by a space, we write within parentheses the expression that is going to be evaluated. After this expression, we write a space followed by a curly bracket to open that block of code. And we have to close that block with a curly bracket as well. Within the block of code, within the switch statement, we can find different cases that are going to determine what happens with our program. If the expression evaluates to this particular value, then this code will run. This is what we call a case label. Technically, we call this a case label. We write the keyword case, followed by a space, then the value that might determine a particular flow of execution, followed by a colon, and then indented, we write the code that belongs to that particular block, and we end that clause with a break statement to avoid running the other cases. We can write as many cases as we need. You can see right here that we have two more cases that are going to determine what happens if this expression evaluates to any one of these particular values. Logically, the expression can only evaluate to one of these values, so only one of these cases will run. And right here we have something called default. This is going to handle what happens if neither one of these values match the expression. So this code will run, and since it's the last clause in the statement, we don't have to add a break statement at the end. Let's see this with a practical example. Right here, I'm working with IntelliJ, and I created a Java class called switch statement example. Within that class, I defined a main method so we can run the program. Within that main method, we are going to start by defining a variable. Let's say that we are going to define a color variable of type string, and that string is going to represent the color green. If we want to do something based on the value of this variable, since it can only take a particular set of values, we can use a switch statement. We write the keyword switch, and within parentheses, we write the variable that we want to evaluate. Depending on the value of this variable, we are going to execute a particular block of code. We add more space right here, and then we add the case labels. Let's say in the case that the variable color has the value red, then we will print a particular message, system.out.println, you chose the color red. Okay, and after that block of code, in this case it's just one line, we have to write a break statement to avoid running the other cases after running this first case. You will see what I mean in just a moment when we see what happens when we remove the break statement. We can add more cases. Let's say that if the value of the variable is blue, then we just want to write a particular message. Blue is an awesome color. And then we write break again. And we can have a third case when the variable is green. The value of the variable is green. Out of print ln, green is my favorite color with an exclamation mark and another break statement. We can also add a default clause right here to handle cases where the value of the variable color is neither one of these values that we included right here. So let's see what we get right here. You chose a different color. And right here, we don't need to write a break statement because this is the last clause in the switch statement. We remove the extra spaces and voila. Right here, we have a switch statement with three case labels and a default clause that will handle all the other cases. The default label is optional. You may include it or not. Let's see what happens when we run the code. Voila. This is the result. Green is my favorite color. Why? Because the value of the variable is green. This variable is evaluated, it evaluates to the string green that we have right here, and this line of code is executed. And since we have a break statement, the switch statement is stopped immediately after printing the message. Let's change this value to blue, for example, and run the code again. Blue is an awesome color. 
This message is displayed because the value of the variable color is a string blue. So this line of code runs. And what if we assign a different color to the string, for example, white? It's neither one of these cases, so we anticipate that the default clause will be executed. Let's see what happens. You chose a different color is a message displayed by the program because the value of the variable color is neither one of these options. This value right here can be any expression, and the value of that expression is the one that's going to be matched with these case labels. What happens when we don't add a break statement? If we forget to include the break statement right here, in this first case that we have right here where the color is red, let's see what happens. We don't have the break statement right here. You can see the output. You chose the color red is displayed first because this line runs. This case is matched. This line runs. And since we don't have a break statement, this case is also executed. So we can see the message blue is an awesome color. If you don't add a break statement, then the other cases below will be executed until a break statement is found. So that is very important. Great. So now you know how to work with the switch statement in Java. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos linked right here. I'll see you there.